Welcome back to Worldview. Now, for several weeks, we've covered a Wisconsin dairy farmer fighting the Wisconsin Department of Justice for the right to sell his milk to members of his own raw milk buying cooperative. The government first tried to scare consumers with unsubstantiated facts, then they sued and brought criminal misdemeanor charges against family farmer Vernon Hirschberger in Sauk County Court. Now, the charges could have placed him in jail for up to 10 years, and he faced multiple thousands of dollars in fines. A jury recently found Vernon Hirschberger not guilty on the two most serious charges, but guilty on violating a holding order, which, because of the acquittal on the main charges, was really null and void, because how can you have a holding order when you're not found criminally guilty in the first place? Well, Farmer Vernon has decided to appeal that lesser charge, and we're joined today by his attorney, Elizabeth Gamsky Rich. Now, she's vice president and board member of the Farm to Consumer Legal Defense Fund. A Wisconsin attorney based in Plymouth, Wisconsin, she's practiced in the areas of environmental, land use, and regulatory law for 25 years and works for clients who challenge the government. She's lived on a 40-acre farm since 1995 and raises goats for dairy products and chickens for meat and eggs. Over the years, she's kept dairy cows, pigs, ducks, turkeys, guineas, rabbits, and geese, in addition to a large garden and fruit production. And her goal is to produce as much of her own food as possible, as her 25 years of experience with the governmental agencies charged with protection of our food supply has led her to the conclusion that she's not protected, to which we all say amen. Elizabeth Gamsky-Rich, welcome to Worldview. Thank you, Dennis. Now, did I get any of that wrong in that uh, long run up? I want to make sure I've got that, uh, the, the, the basics of the case there. The only, uh, the only correction I would uh, submit, Dennis, is that he actually faced um, up to two years, or two and a half years, rather, in jail, rather than uh, 10 years. But other than that, everything was perfect. Okay, that's, a, that's, that's significant. Okay. Well, let's, please walk us through the trial recently completed, and, and what does Farmer Vernon, I'm going to call him Farmer Vernon so I don't have to say Farmer Vernon Hirschberger every time, what does he face today? Well, he was acquitted on all three charges of operating without necessary licenses. And because of that, he's continued, because of the acquittals, he's going to uh, continue to operate his farm, continue to sell his raw milk and raw dairy products to the members of his private buying club. The sole conviction, it, and, and I should say also, Dennis, that we see that as very significant, um, both in terms of, of the legal result, but also in terms of the message that was sent to not only the government here in Wisconsin, but I think to, I hope, to governments everywhere that when these cases have come before judges, many times the, the judge has ruled in the government's favor, but we have found that every time a raw milk case has come before a jury, the farmer has been acquitted. And we think that's significant. That, that is significant, and, but the Wisconsin Department of Justice was quite adamant, uh, I believe, right after the case, they demanded that Vernon be jailed immediately for violating the terms of his parole and breaking that hold order. What was the final, outcoming, fi final outcome excuse me, of his sentencing and their motion? Well, the motion initially was delayed. We were very surprised and disappointed to see that the state had filed that motion. What they were, what they based the motion on an interview um, with Vernon by a local TV station, and and actually his words were not on the interview. It was a paraphrase by the reporter that the um, that the ba that formed the basis for the motion, which of course in a court of law really isn't evidence of anything. But based on what the reporter's summary of Vernon's statement was, uh, Ver she said that Vernon said, "We've been open all along. We've been operating." All along and so the the state then said well based on that you must have been violating the terms of your bond which required you not to operate and therefore you should be jailed I we, we were stunned by that because we really were hopeful that the case that the jurors message to the state and that the result in the case would perhaps give the state pause perhaps trigger a new approach of uh, cooperation and dialogue that had been lacking in Vernon's case and, and really in every case that I've seen between the Department of Ag and Wisconsin farmers. So I guess we, we got the message loud and clear that that will not be the case. I'm sorry, so, so he's not going to go to jail for any of this that has happened so far? He's been, has he had his sentencing hearing on the original case? Yes, on June 13th he had the sentencing hearing and the judge denied the state's motion uh, to jail him for violation of the bond conditions. 
And what was his final sentence? Uh, no jail time, no probation, and he faced upward more than ten thousand dollars in fines. The judge imposed a one thousand dollar fine plus five hundred and thirteen dollars in mandatory court assessments. And members of Vernon's Buying Club paid the fine on the spot. So the the appeal that you've now filed is to clear his name on this conviction. Am I correct? That's correct. It is to clear his name um, and. And perhaps also to uh, to get up to get the word out in terms of what the what was withheld from the jury, what information was withheld from the jury that did not allow them to to make a decision that was fully informed. In our view, we'd like that to we'd we'd like to prevent that from happening again. We're uh, talking with Elizabeth Gansky Rich. She's the attorney for Farmer Vernon Hirschberger here on Worldview with Dennis Campbell. Um, now. I have to ask you, uh, Elizabeth, is there an opportunity for you on his behalf, on his behalf to file uh, any charges, civil or otherwise, against the state? In my opinion, there is not, uh, at least not, not for uh, any kind of misconduct. I think they would have sovereign immunity for, for any allegations like that. You have to, in, in, at least in Wisconsin, we would have to show that someone was on the take if we were going to successfully pursue them. and. Uh, uh, and, and get around the sovereign Im immunity defense. Um, however, we do. There, we, we did raise at the sentencing hearing that the state dumped dye into two thousand into the bulk tank and destroyed two thousand pounds of Vernon's milk, for which he has never been compensated, contrary to state law. And the state also took samples and destroyed product, for which Vernon has not been compensated, also contrary to Wisconsin law. Now, you know, despite everything that's just happened to Vernon, this sounds and feels so much like a move by big food to eliminate their small family farmers and, and, and winnow out the competition against them. I mean, it must be daunting some days to, to, for, for someone in your position to realize you're going up against major corporations with 200 person legal staffs. And, you know, then they go after a small farmer like Vernon. And there's another farmer in Michigan that's uh, also being attacked right now for, for raising pigs. Um, and, and these people all have the ability to, to, to buy the political process and write laws in their favor. How does someone like you keep moving forward against these odds? Well, Dennis, uh, going up against big government and big business is what I live for. That's what uh, that's what makes my day. That, so I I don't feel daunted or discouraged at all. I love what I do, and I get up every day willing and ready to keep doing it. What does hurt, though, is the impact that these actions have on small farmers and their families. It's extraordinarily stressful what Vernon went through for three years three years of hell. Uh, with the government pursuing him, economic hardship. They took all of his computers, all of his business records in June of 2010. Those have never been returned. So, it, and I, I've, I see this over and over again. I see the impact that uh, this government harassment has on small farmers. I've seen people have nervous breakdowns, be hospitalized, have heart attacks. That's a very real uh, impact and problem uh, for the farmers. Well, I have to say, I've met some pretty impressive folks over the last couple of months in the Farm to Consumer Legal Defense Fund and all the things that you do fighting for small farmers. You, Pete Kennedy, Liz Reitzig, uh, I want to wish you best of luck and keep on fighting. And we'll do our best here to let folks know about all of these spurious attempts by government to reward their rich friends instead of the taxpayers and the small farmers. I want to thank you for taking time to be here on Worldview. Thank you, Dennis. I appreciate it. Elizabeth Gamsky Rich is the attorney for Wisconsin Dairy Farm of Vernon Hirschberger, and she's vice president of the Farm to Consumer Legal Defense Fund. She joined us from her office in Plymouth, Wisconsin, to discuss the appeal by Farmer Vernon of charges he violated a holding order. You're watching Worldview with Dennis Campbell. Stay right here.